Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today we're going to be taking a look at Zoho Recruit, which is a free recruiting software that you can use in your small business. Whether you are an HR team or a recruiting company as well, you could both of you can use Zoho Recruit for your talent management needs. Whether you're looking for an applicant tracking system or even a CRM platform as well, uh, this Zoho Recruit system does include both of those and you're able to utilize that single platform post those job postings, attract candidates, all within the Zoho Recruit system. So in this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to use Zoho Recruit for beginners uh, and how to get started and overall what it looks like. Again, I do want to stress this is a free software. They have a free version. They do have some pro and premium versions as well if you do need additional features depending on your overall needs. But that's what we're going to be diving into here in today's video. And before we dive into things, of course, I do want to mention if you want to check out Zoho Recruit, you can go ahead and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brennanvaleski.com. There will be a Zoho link linked down below in the video description where you can go ahead and check out Zoho Recruit today for free. And without further ado, before we dive in, of course, smash that like button and let's go ahead and take a look at Zoho Recruit. I'm going to be walking through the back end as well, but I do want to give you a quick overview of what Zoho Recruit includes. Like I already mentioned, it is an applicant tracking system as well as a CRM. So you're able to do a lot all within the singular platform. You're also able to create a candidate, a job post postings and then share that across it over 75 different job boards with a single click uh, and that can save you a lot of time when it comes to you know sending out those uh, job boards and getting things posted everywhere this can save you a lot of time to actually use a professional recruitment software such as Zoho that alone that feature can save you you know dozens and dozens uh, of hours or just your time uh, you can also build out the relationship so you know setting up questions or interview staging depending on the hiring stage that you're actually in uh, as well as maybe if you just care about using it to get it on all the job boards that feature alone might be worth it for you uh, to use Zoho recruit uh, addition to that, you can also set up, you know, custom automations with like onboarding and things like that. If you really care about, you know, streamlining your overall HR process, or if you are a recruiting company, you can also do that as well. Again, whether you're looking more for uh, corporate hiring, uh, or if you are a recruitment company, you can do both here with Zoho Recruit. Now taking a quick look at the pricing again, this pricing is always subject to change. So be sure to check out Zoho's pricing page to get the most realistic and up-to-date pricing. But I did want to show you that they do have their forever free version version, uh, which is forever free. It is currently $0. As you can see, that's what free means. Uh, and you have one active job. So you are limited to just one active job with the free version. If you do need more active jobs, they do have the pr uh, standard professional and enterprise levels, uh, which obviously come with a monthly fee uh, per user. So if you're only going to be hiring one job and you're, you're kind of doing things pretty slow, or maybe you just want to test out the software yourself, then you can get started for free with that. And you can do the candidate management uh, you know, setting yourself up with the, the interviews and emails and all that kind of thing. If you do need the more advanced features such as like resumes and, you know, the more premium job boards, things like that, more integrations, you will need at least the standard version. Um, and you can have up to 100 active jobs on that. Again, professional enterprise, more more features come along with that as well. I'm not going to be diving too much into that here in this video today. Just want to give you the basic overview uh, as well. And to show you as well, you can also set up a client portal as well as video interviews, which are additional add-ons. Honestly, you can kind of take care of some of that stuff just through Google, in my opinion, um, if you are just trying to do that. But Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at, of course, what Zoho Recruit looks like on the back end once you're getting signed up. Uh, again, it is a little bit different for corporate HR versus uh, staffing agencies. So if we look at that, it's still only one active job uh, per recruiter. So do just bear that in mind there. It does look a little bit different for those other versions. Uh, but without ado, again, let's take a look at Zoho Recruit. So when you go ahead and sign up with Zoho Recruit, this is what you will be prompted with. Uh, you have the option to choose between staffing agency and corporate HR. Uh, so if you're a staffing agency, you, know, you can hire talent for your clients, or if you're doing this internally uh, or for your own company, uh, you could select corporate HR. We're going to go ahead and select corporate HR. Uh, and then you also have, you know, staffing agency here that you can select as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do corporate HR. And we're just going to say this is uh, uh, Joe Schmo Incorporated. And we're going to go with just, uh, let's see if a 555 uh, number works uh, and go with that. 
and now it will go ahead and set up the dashboard here uh, to set up the account. Now, of course, you wanna make sure you're entering everything in correctly when you're getting signed up. Uh, so as you can see here, welcome, one step ahead from enhancing the hiring process. We're gonna go ahead and click on get started. Uh, and as you can see here, we are now in the dashboard. If you wanna allow notifications, you can feel free to do that there. Uh, so we are now on the dashboard. Now, currently this is on their 15 day trial period uh, to get, you know, you have to upgrade to a paid plan to get rid of uh, certain email restrictions and limits. Um, but this will at least sort of give you uh, the basis. We're gonna go ahead and add sample data as well uh, to go ahead and show you sort of what it looks like. This will help you kind of understand things and it makes sense for this tutorial here today. Now, as far as what the Zoho Recruit dashboard includes, as you can see here, you have a job openings, candidates, uh, app offers, obviously, uh, application submissions. You have interviews, referrals, and departments. Uh, if we go ahead and take a look just at job openings, now it's currently adding the sample data, so it will take a little bit uh, to add that sample data in, but if we do go ahead and create one from scratch, if we just click create job board, or job opening, and this is probably what most of you guys are looking for here in this tutorial, uh, is it gives you the option to enter in all of the information that you would want on a job posting and it's really in this nice easy format just to make it super simple for you um, that you can go ahead and use now if you do have let's say for example uh, a certain popular job template you can also go through here and select job templates uh, which could save you a lot of time in the long run uh, if you're going to be going in and creating multiples of the same types of jobs you can create templates which is pretty cool here within zoho recruit um, you can add the title so in this case let's just say like I don't know, staff, staff writer or something like that. Uh, department name, we're gonna call this uh, marketing. And then that will create a new new marketing department here because you, you will have to kind of select these over time uh, that you have. You can also uh, select, you know, save different department names if you have a department that you wanna add to, you know, your system here. And then we can go ahead and reload this here. So you can add multiple different departments to Zoho Recruit 2, uh, such as like I showed you there with marketing. As you can see here now, it is populated with myself as the hiring manager. Um, and then you also have the date open. So you can set the date opening. Uh, you can easily click through here, select, let's just say December 14th, uh, job type, none, full-time, part-time, temporary contract, any permanent training, volunteer, seasonal, or freelance. So you have a lot of options there. Um, you have uh, work experience. If you're looking for uh, certain levels of work experience, you can set those there too. Uh, let's just say uh, none. <laughs> uh, none, and let's call it part-time, uh, you know, something like that. I don't know. Uh, you can also set up a title, so uh, the number of positions, if there's maybe multiples of them, you could maybe set it to be like three different staff writer positions are available. Uh, you can assign specific people that are within Zoho Recruit, so as you can see, obviously I'm just the only person in here. Uh, you can set a target date, let's just say like by January of next year or something like that. Uh, you can set the industry, let's say communications, and I would recommend personally setting up as much information that you can provide on these job postings as possible, just because it will help you sort of rank and get more searches, clicks, and overall data points when people are actually looking for job postings. Um, that's sort of kind of outside the scope of this video, but that can help you. I'd recommend filling in everything that you can uh, even if it's not like required because it will help people find your actual job postings when you go ahead and post them. Um, and now salary is one thing that depending on where you are, what country and what state or where you're residing or where your company is based out of, you may or may not have to provide this. I do believe that a lot of states or at least within the United States and in, in, in this country, a lot of states are now requiring companies to provide at least a salary range, uh, if not the specific salary, um, just for more salary transparency. So I would recommend including this in my opinion, because I feel like that's just much better, more transparent, um, you know, for, for people when they're looking for things so they know how much it is or how little it is. Um, so you can type that in there. You can also select if it's a remote job. So if it's remote, then, you know, 
They're, they'll be uh, allowed to work remotely. You don't need any specifics here, but if it is a physical job, do include the zip code because a lot of the job boards uh, will be zip code specific. So make sure you include a zip code if it is not remote, uh, as well as you know city, country, state, or province, because that will then again hope help you show up in those local job listings on Google as well as any other job board that you are posting it to. Uh, so once you go ahead and do that, you can also set up with Zoho Assist, uh, which can help you write things as well in here um, that you can use to go ahead and um, write things. That's sort of like their little AI assist thing. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I did just want to mention that, that you you can use that too if you want to do that. Um, you can also just type up the job description yourself or just use ChatGPT directly if you're trying to set up something. Um, or you can write it the old fashioned way uh, and, and you know, write something out like uh, your responsibilities, uh, you know, things like that, yada, yada, what you would have on job description, uh, requirements, benefits, you know, you can easily just go ahead and uh, copy paste things in here um, that you have information about. Uh, you have, you know, any other attachments you might want to make to that too. Uh, and then what we can do is go ahead and click save and publish. Um, Oh yeah, because I did not, I unchecked remote job. As you can see, it requires that information. Uh, and we can go ahead and click save and publish. Okay, job description needs to be at least 150 characters. Um, well, in that case, then <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to type something out. So if we have responsibility, so uh, this is your um, uh, best job for the day. You will write many, many things uh, for our company and get paid to do so. Thank you. I don't know. Something like that, right? 150. Thank you for applying for this job here today and using our platform. So then you can save and publish <laughs> and then you can once you've saved and published you can go ahead and add a website too and this is important so that it will actually uh, publish to a website that you go ahead and set up and that will allow you to you know get more people seeing your job post if you add a website here too who the primary contact is um, you'll need to add that information to your company logo, uh, things like that. That will also help you get more people seeing it. Um, and then once you have actually created, you know, your official job posting, as you can see, you can also walk through here, you know, see the interview section, see people that are screened, submitted, interviewed, offered, hired, or rejected. And you can see the overall hiring pipeline. You can also see a timeline too, as far as when different things were added. Um, so you really do have a lot of things in here that you can see on your job postings. As you can see, this is the staff writer marketing remote job. You can go back to your job postings and see all the ones in here. As you can see, this is the one uh, that we created here uh, the, as the one that we created from scratch. But to show you what it looks like as an example of one that they offered some extra data in here, like some dummy data, as you can see, you can have, uh, you know, strong hire status or candidate names. Um, if how the general interview went, things like that, you know, you can mark mark people down uh, and have their names and really have everything uh, organized here in the pipeline. Uh, you can see, you know, city, title, things like that, set up offer letters. So you can really manage the entire recruitment process here. Uh, if we go into one that's in progress under like sales manager, as you can see, we have one that's set up with an interview. Um, so you have this one's like on hold or something like that. So you can kind of see different data points depending on uh, the different applicants that you have in your overall uh, job postings and job openings system. So it is a pretty uh, detailed uh, platform overall, in my opinion, uh, Zoho Recruits. So you can really see, uh, and if you go back to the home and the dashboard, when you see you have some data in here, you'll be able to see like the overall age of job and really get like a lot of extra details as far as, you know, upcoming interviews, completed interviews, um, and really have a good overall picture 
of your hiring process, how many people are in certain pipelines across the hiring pipeline, which I feel like this alone is very nice just to get a general overview, especially if you are maybe hiring a lot of different people or if you do plan on using the paid version, you're gonna have multiple going on all at once. Uh, that can help you kind of keep track of things as well. You can just separate things out by departments uh, or by users as far as who's in charge. So that can also help you here as well. Uh, and if we take a look at the candidates section, uh, you can see the different candidates that we have here as the sample candidates. If we click into one, you can kind of read additional details about them, see notes, you can see their email uh, experience, you know, what, how their overall process was here. If we go back to candidates, you can also go down to the offers. Of course, we haven't created any offers here because uh, those are newer things here within Zoho Recruit. We go over to interviews. We have the interview section that you can track things. You also have referrals too. Uh, so you, if you have a referral program in your business, you can also set that up too here, as well as the different departments based on uh, your company. So that's just a quick general overview of what Zoho Recruit looks like. Uh, again, if you are using the free version, you are limited just to one um, job posting at a time, uh, but it can help you a lot with getting through the overall recruitment process. Uh, and getting it out to a lot of different uh, people and getting it seen across a lot of those different job posting platforms uh, and things like that. So I would definitely recommend giving Zoho Recruit a shot. Again, that link down below in the video description will take you right over to Zoho Recruit uh, where you can get started with Zoho Recruit for free today. Um, but that's pretty much the overall setup. We take a look here at analytics. You can also see like age of job, time to hire, things like that. You really have a lot of options here as far as what you can use. You can connect different uh, vendors here. We have the recruiter uh, in a box if you wanna use that. You have emails, uh, documents. You can kind of go through here and track everything uh, that you have attached to your Zoho Recruit account as well. Uh, so that can be helpful too, depending on your company and, and how much you have uh, stored on here. Um, but that's pretty much, again, Zoho Recruit. You can set up different viewpoints, uh, you know, get candidates in the pipeline and get it posted out to all the different, at least over 75 different job boards. So again, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Again, I do want to finally mention again, if you do want to get signed up with Zoho Recruit, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. If you guys found this video helpful or enjoyed, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell as well, so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.